So that was not the most efficient way to do this. I had to shoot my orbit up higher because I was too close, so I had to slow down. And now the lander is catching up to me. So, now we're getting close to each other here. Proximity operations is what it's called in real life. We have a target indicator here, right? See the target and anti-target right there? But we also have a retrograde indicator. Can we switch that into targeting mode? You can. You can switch targeting mode. Excellent. All right, so we're 800 meters away. How do I get this over there? Well, you switch this into target mode here, fellas. What you're going to do is it's going to pull up. You notice everything's changing on the nav ball. All the little symbols have changed, right? They all, they all flipped around. They're all in different spots. What the target nav ball does is show you your velocity relative to the target that you're trying to get to. So, obviously, if I keep going, right, if we look at my trajectory, if I keep going, we're going to cross paths here, but then my orbit's going to go lower and we'll just fly away from them. We're just going to basically fly by right now. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want, we want to stop right before we, right when we cross paths, right? I want to hit the brakes right here when we're 300 meters away. Got to stop. That's what the target nav ball is showing you. It's basically showing you the direction that you need to point to stop, to hit the brakes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to retrograde when you're in target mode and I'll flip the RCS on. The craft should automatically point, point it in the right direction for me because I have it set to retrograde because you wanna slow down relative to your target. Notice I have a differential speed here, 4.7 meters a second. That's the speed at which I'm going to pass by the lander. I don't want to pass by and keep going. I want to wait till I'm close and then hit the brakes and make sure that that target speed says nothing. Right? That's what we want to do. So let's just wait until our, cro our paths cross here, which should be happening in... Thirteen seconds. So what I'm going to do, we're close enough. We're 500 meters. That's fine. So I'm going to burn prograde while I'm on the retrograde marker. And look, my target is slowing down. The target retrograde indicator is slowing down. I switch this back off just to regular SAS here. Look, as I fire the RCS, see the retrograde indicator? It's all moving all over the place. So let's get it to zero. Now what? Now what are we doing? Well, we're doing what's called station keeping. We're station keeping with the station. But we're 500 meters away, and we are in two different orbits. In order for us to keep, see, look, our target indicator, our target velocity relative is running, is changing. See, 0 0.3, it's going to go up to 0.4, and we'll eventually fall away. We don't, Marvin is lonely. He wants his Kerbal buddies back. See him up there? He's lonely. So, what we got to do we're station keeping, but we have to get closer, right? You don't, you don't want to sit here all day. So I'm going to shut the SAS off, and what we're going to do is pitch the vehicle up like this, and I got to get closer to it. So how do we get closer to it? Point at it and go forward. That that usually, usually helps. I think we're going to leave it here, Wheat. There's not really much we can do with it. So now, I'm pointing at the target. So, I have my... We can flip the SAS on and set target, right? And now, just burn towards it. Just burn towards it. Notice that my prograde indicator is going towards the capsule now. And you've noticed my distance to the capsule is going down. But, oh, so we're going towards it, right? Everything's fine. Not necessarily. Still got a station keep. So even if I keep going, we're pointing right at the capsule. We're not necessarily pointing at where the capsule's going to be. That's really, really important to understand. So if I just time warp, right, we'll eventually fall out of favor here. Because we're in a different orbit, we'll eventually, see how it's deviating? We're deviating. We missed. Or did we? Well, we're a lot closer to the lander now, right? We're 30 meters to the lander. I'm going to drop a quick save here. Now, I got to turn that RCS on and we got to hit the brakes.
So I hit the brakes, right? Again, when we're 20 meters. And now we're station keeping again. Now we're back to just kind of flying in formation with the lander. See, lander's over there doing its thing. How are Bob and Tim doing? They are doing just fine. See, lander's up there doing its thing. Okay, so where's the lander's docking port? I have this thing set to radial out. So it's basically pointed up relative to the ground. The landing legs are pointed at the ground. Discovery. Pretty simple. Go ahead, okay, so now Marvin needs to get to that lander. How are we gonna do it? Well, we're station keeping again. So, if you've been watching the stream, you know what I'm talking about. But, now what we gotta do, now what we gotta do is get lined up and then dock to this thing. What I do is I imagine a parking spot out in front of that docking port. That docking port is pointed straight up, right? It's pointed this way. I'm gonna try to put the capsule right there, and then we're gonna go back to station keeping, which is basically where we sit there, right? So, we're gonna turn Marvin inside of the capsule here. Absolutely passing. So if you notice, on the nav ball on the left, I'm pointing basically just a little ways up above the target. All right, so now we're gonna go forward in that direction. Turn the SAS on. Lander still pointed straight up there. So we're gonna get to that imaginary parking space out in front of this lander, okay? There we go, good shot right there. We got the, neb we got the cosmic nebulae in the background. All right, so now we're gonna hit the brakes again. Get your target indicator, or your target speed indicator back to 0 0.3, 0 0.2, something like that. We're right, up, we're right above it. So, what I'm gonna do now is watch where we are and we're gonna reorient this capsule. We're gonna reorient the capsule so the docking port is pointed in the right spot. It's pointed at the other docking port. That seven meter indicator right there is basically where the docking port is and we're, we're basically pointing right at it but yeah we we're a little bit out of favor on our parking spot so now we got to get lined up once we do right, stop right here now this is the important part just check are you lined up well now we are see the target indicator now we're pointed right at that docking port. So now we go. Go forward. Right? Go forward, make small adjustments if you have to. Slow it down, you don't wanna go too fast. And there you go, simple as that. That, going towards it, hitting the brakes. Turning towards target, going towards it, hitting the brakes, station keeping, going towards target, getting close, hitting the brakes, getting in that imaginary parking spot, lining up, and then go. That's how you do this. It works every time. Physics doesn't change. Easy peasy.